Hey, this is Dave with Naked Hobby, and today I'm going to be showing you how to waterproof a servo for your RC crawler or just general RC needs. All these tools that I'll be using today can be purchased at any Naked Hobby store. Most Savox and high tech servos that are waterproof come in blue. With the, the orange marking here, it indicates that it's not waterproof, so we're going to go ahead and waterproof this one. The parts we'll be using today are the MG Chemicals Acrylic Conformal Coating, the Savox SC0251 Servo, and a Dynamite Phillips Screwdriver. First what you're going to do is you're going to take your Phillips Screwdriver and you're going to undo the four screws on the bottom. helps to have a good small pointed Phillips and then you're gonna take the bottom section off and then the top then you take off all the gears try not to do that but you'll want to assemble them You'll want to reassemble them back the way that you got them. So a good way to remember is when you take them off slowly is to actually set them down all in the way that they would go back on. And then there's two screws right in here that actually hold the servo motor on. And you're going to undo those. Don't lose those because those are tiny. And that will allow you to pull this, the board and everything apart. Don't pull too hard. You don't want to rip the wires. And then using the conformal coating, you're just gonna take it and brush it on. Now, what I normally do is I'll brush it all on and I'll do typically five to six coats just to make sure it's good. Um, once you get it all covered on the top and bottom then you'll let it sit for five to ten minutes and then you will add your next coat. Alright, so now that our first coat is dry, you can see it's actually got a little bit of a shine to it on the board. Um, we are going to add a second coat. And again, you just kind of brush it on and then uh, you'll wait five to ten minutes do your next coat and just continue repeating that process and like I said I typically will do five to six coats just so I know it's good and set um, others do less or more but I found that five to six is normally good enough all right so now that we have all of our coats you can kind of see it's got more of a shine to it. Um, we are going to begin putting the servo back together. So you're going to push it all back in. The motor, it basically will sit in only one way. So it's pretty easy to line the screws up. Put your screws back in. And then you get to put the servo back together. Alright, so when you go to put the gear set back together, this is basically, um, this has two flat spots on it and that's 
what you're going to want to line up with here. It, you have a little nub, so you just have to make sure that that all slides in. And it gets kind of tricky. You kind of got to put them, put it all together. All right. So now that all the the gears are on there, we can put the top back on. Put the bottom back on. And what some people do is they will take and they will put the dielectric grease actually in between the seams it's a little bit extra protection to the elements on here but the conformal coating normally does its job and uh, seals up all the circuits good once you get these screws on then you are all set to reinstall your now new waterproof servo.